Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Urinary. Today we are doing part 12 of The Secret Stitches Cal 2021, The Granny Takes a Hike Square. You will love this stitch as much as I do. We are taking Granny on a hike. She's gonna be going up hills, across plateaus, and down hills, all the way across our rows. Super easy to remember, and it ends up being this lovely, gorgeous design, this lovely stitch. If you'd like to do the other squares of this cow, there's 12 different stitches all together, and we are joining these into a blanket. So that'll be super great and gorgeous. You can use all the same color yarn for yours, or you can change it up like I have, whatever you'd like to do. If you'd like a written pattern to go along with this square, it's Granny Takes a Hike Square over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And all my patterns are written in plain English. There is no abbreviation, so it is whatever I'm saying in the video, but on paper form, so it's easy to follow along, and you do not have to know how to read a pattern. The rest of the squares are also available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and also tutorials on my channel if you'd like to follow along visually or on paper. To make the Granny Takes a Hike square, I'm using the same type of yarn as I did for the rest of my squares. This is Saver from Ice Yarns, and I'm also using the same size hook. So same type of yarn, same type of hook, and this is a six millimeter to go along with my four worsted weight, but use whatever hook you have been using for the rest of your squares. Also, want, you don't need, but five stitch markers are really handy. You'll also need a darning needle for sewing in your ends, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. Grab your stitch markers and your hook and your yarn and your written pattern if you're following along at home. Now we're gonna start by making a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. So shrink that down and pop it onto your hook. And chain 10. So this pattern is a multiple of 10. So chain 10. One, two, three, nine, and 10. Roll that pretty little chain over onto its side. And we are looking for these little camel bumps along the back or these back loops. The first one is right underneath the working yarn. So there is one, two, three, four. We're looking for the very first one right here, right underneath the working yarn. Grab a stitch marker and just pop it onto that back loop. Just like that. And chain 10 more. Again, roll your chain over onto its side. Look for that very first back loop, that little camel bump right underneath the working yarn. And we're gonna pop another stitch marker on. This is just gonna help us work into our chain and know that we're counting our stitches correctly. And now just keep doing that until you have used up all five stitch markers or chained 50. So there is my last stitch marker. I have chained 50 and chain one more. So it's a multiple of 10 plus one. So now roll that chain over again onto its side. We're gonna be looking for the fifth chain or the fifth back loop. So the first one is right underneath our working yarn. Second has a stitch marker. So then there is three, four, and five is right there. So into the fifth chain from your hook, wrap your yarn, slide that back loop onto your hook, and make two double crochets. There is one, and here is two. So rolling that pretty little chain onto its side. So skipping five chains, these little back loops, one, two, three, four, and five, we wanna work into the sixth chain right here, and that's the one right before our stitch marker. And that's how we're gonna be using our stitch markers to help us work into our chain. So into the stitch before the stitch marker, wrap your yarn, go into that stitch, just slide that back loop onto your hook, and we are gonna do a shell, an uphill shell. That is two double crochets, one and two. Chain two 
and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one. So now into the stitch after the stitch marker, go in and make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and in to the next stitch, we're gonna do our downhill shells. So we're gonna walk Granny down the hill. So that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Now we're gonna skip our five stitches working into the sixth. So one, two, three, four, and five. It's the stitch right before the stitch marker. So just slide that on and make your uphill shell. Uphill shells are two double crochets. One and two. Chain two and one more double crochet into the same chain. Chain one, skip one. So into the chain after the stitch marker, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one. And into the second chain, we're gonna do our downhill shell. That is one double crochet. Chain two and two double crochets. One and two. We're just making these little plateaus all the way along. Wrap your yarn, skip five into the stitch right before the stitch marker. Slide that back loop onto your hook and do your uphill shell, so that is two double crochets. One and two, chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, so skip the stitch with the stitch marker, into the second stitch, slide that onto your hook, and make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, into the second chain, just sliding the back loop on. We're gonna do our downhill shell, so that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One, and two. Wrap your yarn, skip five, into the stitch before the stitch marker. We do an uphill shell, so that is two double crochets. Chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip one, into the stitch after that stitch marker, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, wrap your yarn and make a downhill shell. So that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets all into the same stitch. One and two. Skipping five and working into our very last chain, Wrap your yarn into that last chain right before the knot. Slide that back loop onto your hook and make your uphill shell. So that is two double crochets. One and two. Chain two and one double crochet into the same stitch. Just like that. And that finishes row one. You can go ahead and pop your stitch markers out. To start row two, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and turn your work. To turn your work so you're working into your chain is nice and easy, slide your hand underneath your working yarn, grab your work, and just bring it to the other side. Just turn your work. Now into this very first stitch, right here, we are going to do two double crochets. So wrap your yarn and make two double crochets. One and two. 
We are only working into the plateaus, these three double crochets. So we're gonna work into one, two, and three, and we're gonna work into one, two, and three, all the way along, one, two, and three. We're skipping the hills, we just work into the plateaus. So we're gonna jump over and work into this first double crochet right here that's standing up after the chain two. So wrap your yarn and into that standing double crochet. Make your uphill shells, so that is two double crochets. One and two. Chain two and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, so into the center double crochet, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, into the last of the three double crochets. We're gonna do our downhill shell. So that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Look for your, your next plateau. So just skipping over all of that slopey bit, all the valley. We wanna look for these three standing double crochets or the three double crochets that are standing up. Into the first double crochet, we're gonna do a uphill shell, same as what is below. So into the top of that double crochet, we'll do two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one into that next double crochet, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one into the next double crochet. We're gonna do our downhill shell. That is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Look for your next little plateau, those three double crochets. Into the first double crochet that is standing up. We will make our uphill shell, so that is two double crochets. Chain two and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and a downhill shell into the next. So downhill shell, one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. Jumping over, looking for those next three double crochets that are standing up into the first one. Do your uphill shell, the opposite of what we just did. So two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one into the next stitch, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, into the next stitch, a downhill shell. So that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. At the end of your row, we have our chain left. So we're not gonna work into the space, we're gonna be working into our chain, and we wanna skip two chains and work into the third. So wrap your yarn and skip two chains. You can kind of just see these loops. There's one and two. We want to work into the third. So wrap your yarn and work into the third chain. You want to have two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook and do your uphill shell. So two double crochets, one and two. Chain two and one more double crochet. And that finishes row two. So now this is the repeat. We start with a chain four. One, two, three, four. Slide your hand under, turn your work. Into the very first stitch, right where our chain is, right down here we are gonna do two double crochets. 
1 and 2. So our chain four in this pattern counts as a double crochet and a chain two. I know it should be a chain five, but if you do a chain five, your edges will look like this. I did chain five down here, and you can see it is a lot longer. <laughs> so if you change it to a chain four, you'll get more of a square shape, which is what we like. So now looking for the next three double crochets that are standing up. Find the first one, wrap your yarn, and do your uphill shell. So two double crochets, one and two, chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, one double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and a downhill shell into the next. So that is one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets. One and two. So now we're just gonna do the same thing, jumping over to the next plateau, our three double crochets, into the first, our uphill shell. So that is two double crochets, one and two a chain two, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, into the next stitch, one double crochet. Chain one, skip one, into the next stitch, a downhill shell. So one double crochet, chain two, and two double crochets into that same stitch. One and two. So we're gonna keep going along like this for the rest of the row, looking for the plateau, doing our uphill shell, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, downhill shell, all the way along until you reach the end of your row. When you reach the end of your row, wrap your yarn and into the third chain. Two strands of that stitch on your hook will make two double crochets, one, two, chain two, and one double crochet. So that's the repeat. You keep going, doing the same row over and over until your square is approximately the same height as your other squares. So to start the last row, chain one and turn your work into this very first stitch, right there. We're gonna make one single crochet. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Look for your next little plateau, those three double crochets. Into the first one, one single crochet. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the next. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Jump over to your next three, one single crochet into the first. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the second. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the third. So we're just kind of putting a roof on these little squares here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. Look for your next little plateau, those three double crochets. One single crochet into the first. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the second. Chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the third. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Jump over to the next plateau, one single crochet, chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, one single crochet into the third. Chain four, one, two, three, and four into your chain. So we wanna work into the same spot, so that third chain down 
It's one, two, and three. Right there. Make one single crochet. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your ends and you're finished. So I hope you like this stitch as much as I did. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy tutorials just like this. If you're over on Instagram, you can find me at Secret Yarnery or Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. You can also join our Facebook group, The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. It's a great place to upload your photos and have your questions answered. There's so many awesome ladies over there. It is amazing. So thanks so much for hooking along. We'll see you in the next tutorial and stay hooked.